Okay. What's up, YouTube? Today I am back with a video. It's been a minute. Um, but I'm going to start with my 35 to 37 week update because I'm 37 weeks right now. So uh, I wrote some things down. Not much has changed. Let's see. So for 35 weeks, I wrote this down because I was supposed to make this video a while ago. So I've been having intense pelvic pain, increase of discharge, it's hard to walk long distances, um, intense heartburn, oh, really that's it. <laughs> I haven't been having any Braxton hits or any of that. So, okay, don't mind the office space it's a bit messy in here but so yeah that's my um 35 week update um so i'm just gonna get into the hospital bags because i kind of like just packed them well his bag has been packed since like 30 weeks but mine's i'm just now packing it so i'm gonna go ahead and get into my bag so i have um in this little container, I have um, like the, the the those little diapers, the pin diapers. I think that's what they're called. And I have some pads. And my hospital is only for a vaginal birth. They're only allowing you to stay for 24 hours, so one day. So I didn't like overpack or anything like that. And for a C-section, it's two days. So either way it goes, it's not a long time. So. Yeah, I just have um, three of those and I know the hospital gives you some so I didn't want to pack too many. And then some pads. And then I have some nursing pads as well. Um, I didn't pack a lot of those because I don't know when my milk is going to come in. With my daughter, my milk didn't come in until I left the hospital so I didn't really have to worry about it too much. In this little bag, I have small toiletry items, um, mouthwash, toothpaste, lotion, soap, um, some nipple cream, face wash, and some more nursing pads that didn't fit in the bag, the other bag. Okay, next. I probably overpacked for the clothes, but I just, I didn't know what I would be comfortable wearing. So that's why I have like more than I need. But I have these two little nursing tank tops. I have some lounge shorts that I know for sure I'll probably wear. And then I have this little dress. It's kind of like this, a little snug, but not super snug. Um, when I have it, my belly will go down a little bit, but and it's like easy to breastfeed in and we live like two minutes away from the hospital so if i do wear this just home it's just hospital and home and i'll still be comfortable and then i brought another pants shirt set if i feel like wearing it and then i have some underwear, I just have four pair, four pair of underwear and then two nursing bras, which I know I'm not, I might use. I know going home I'm gonna use them, but in the hospital I probably won't even use them. And then I have this robe that I will be wearing to take pictures in. Um, to match his um, swaddle blanket and then this was supposed to be for my daughter because I thought they would allow visitors so she was supposed to wear this and then I wear that and then he'll be in his swaddle blanket and my husband will have his outfit on 
so we can take pictures but I guess we have to do them at home or I'm getting his pictures professionally taken so she could wear this then which is actually a really good idea so I think I might do that so um, on the side of the bag I have my shower shoes and then in the front I have a camera charger and then my phone charger and I'm gonna be packing some snacks in the bag maybe just like a pack of gummy bears nothing too crazy because I'm just picturing how I was with my daughter the first time around and I really didn't even eat like that I just ate whatever they gave me and because I didn't pack snacks with her. I just ate whatever they gave me and I was fine. So I don't I don't even know if I'll pack snacks. I might own a pair of socks. So that's it for my bag. Now for his bag. This diaper bag. I really like this one. I did a video over this but I lost all the footage so you'll be getting a diaper bag. <laughs> Um, tour as well but anyways um, I got this off Amazon it's pretty decent size it'll fit my daughter's clothes well her stuff and his stuff so that's why I wanted this one but um, inside I have this fluffy blanket and somewhere on the blanket it says thank heaven for little boys so I have that blanket and then I have his swaddle blanket which we'll be taking pictures in along with his hat and then I have a onesie this is his going home outfit maybe should be I think it is and um mitten and some socks to go with it and it just says his name on it on the hat and then on the shirt my mom made this for him so he'll be wearing that to go home in and I know it's like just a onesie but like I said we live two minutes away from the house so it's not gonna be he doesn't need to wear anything crazy and then I have I have this little um pajama set with socks because it doesn't have footies at the bottom I try to stay away from footies because he is a summer baby so I don't want to keep him like swaddled up too much and then this outfit also has his name on the pants leg and on the hat and then the long sleeve I don't know if he's gonna wear this if it's cold in the hospital I'll probably put this on him but going home he's definitely not wearing that because it is a hundred and some degrees outside and then we have this random onesie with the matching hat socks and mittens so yeah I just have four outfits for him and then what else do we have in here for him I have I've had two diapers but I know I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use the hospital diapers and I'm going to use the hospital wipes as well. And then I have two burp cloths and then a um, small little swaddle blanket. And then once I'm finished cleaning his bottles and pacifiers, I'll put his pacifier in here. And then that's all I really pack for him. Not too much. Um... I don't have any wipes in here or anything because I'm taking the hospital wipes. <laughs> so I'm not packing like any of my stuff. I'm taking all of their stuff. I'm paying for it, right? So I might as well take what I can get. So. So yeah, for um, my 36 week appointment, I went to the doctor and they decided to see if I was dilated and I was not so hopefully this week 37 weeks um, on Wednesday um, hopefully I will be able to 
hopefully I'll be dilated because I, I think they're gonna check me again I'm not sure they might not I don't know but if they do I hope I am dilated at least like one centimeter <laughs> like something <laughs> give me something so I know he's coming but yes that is his hospital bag my hospital bag and we have this car seat over here that I actually want to install in the car um, because I feel like I just need to you know how you have that feeling I feel like I just should go ahead it's about that time so this is the time where they can come at any moment but honestly he's probably not gonna come till 40 weeks but still I want to be prepared and um oh yeah and we have the letter board to take pictures in and um his name is already on it everything's already on it so we have that as well and that's really it it's pretty simple since we're only staying for a day so i didn't want to pack too much or anything like that and my update is pretty simple as well not much has been going on I haven't noticed any like crazy changes other than I feel like he is dropping more um, hence the reason why I have a lot of pelvic pain and discharge way more discharge he's dropping more so um, we will just see hopefully the next video you guys see about the baby update will be him here um because i'm probably not gonna do any more updates i really feel like i don't need to um so far everything is going the exact way like how i do with my daughter i didn't have any signs of labor i didn't have any crazy symptoms or anything until i went into labor and that's when i had contractions but before that nothing changed <laughs> every week was the same so i feel like that's gonna be the same exact way with him so far so i probably won't do any more updates until he gets here and then i will film as much as i can as much as the, the hospital allows me to and you guys will be seeing baby boy but um this is the car seat that we got it came with the um even flow pivot expand the double stroller i'm sad because i got the double stroller expecting to take a bunch of trips this summer um after he's born of course um expecting to do a bunch of stuff this year and COVID-19 ruined that for us. So we won't be doing much of anything. I will still get used out of that stroller because I'm taking them walking after I have him. Um, I take her walking every now and then, not all the time because I do have a lot of pelvic pain so it's hard to walk. But anyways, um, I will be taking them on walks a lot. So we're gonna get our money's worth out of that stroller. Um, but we do plan on going to San Antonio Maybe the end of this year, either for my birthday or for my daughter's birthday, because our birthdays are a week apart, so it'll probably be for both of our birthdays. But yeah, we'll get some use out of that. But um, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. So I will talk to you in the next video.